Hello, Kel. Hello. Kelly Warren from Kelly Warren and Associates on Home Advantage. This is a cute little place. Yeah, nice little starter home for somebody. That is exactly what it is. And I have to say, like, as we kind of were walking up the, the steps here, they are, they, they've got some new mulch. The color of the door matches mm -hmm. the mat. The idea of people buying the first home. Yes. The first time. There's a lot of unknowns yeah. and there's a lot of different things that they're thinking about when it comes to choosing the right property. And this one sort of hits all the nails on the head. Yeah, yeah, I, I love a good starter home for people. Um, it's, you know, where the beginning of life happens. Yeah. So it's, it's so much more than just a, a home purchase, you know. It really is. And it's um, sometimes it's not the biggest house. Sometimes it's not the most expensive house. But that is, I think, what people need to put in their minds that that is OK. Yeah. Well, it really depends on where you're at on your life. You know, somebody's first starter home that could be 22 and working retail, where somebody else, they might be 30 and have college degrees and larger incomes. Right. So where, where you're at in life has a lot to do with what your starter home looks like. but. Um, couple of fun points that I thought we could talk about with starter homes. All right. All right. Well, I, you know what, when you're, when you are that 22 year old person that is taking a leap of faith and then has the mortgage and the lawn and all of those things, this place here in Cornersburg, I mean, it's an appropriate size where you mm -hmm. can, you can grow a little bit, you can be there for a few years. Yep. And in this area, in this market in Northeast Ohio, it's possible. Oh yeah, which I love. Yeah, and f affordable, right. and and safe, and yeah, all all the good stuff, everything you need. You know, close proximity to to your it's, banks and your shopping, and your dining, and yeah. your schools, and all that kind of stuff. So. And you're not putting somebody, and you're not paying somebody else's rent for the first time right. in your life. That whole idea that you're building wealth, that this well, is still your savings account. We learned that from you yes. many years ago. And you can start having that freedom of, well, I want to paint the door this color, or I want to add a deck, or, you know, it would work for me if we finish the basement. Mm -hmm. So you can start to, to plan life and plan, you know, what I need in the next couple of years in your starter home. What is the emotional process? I remember many years ago when I first bought my, my first home, that was one of the happiest days of my life. So how do you navigate that with your team? Like, cause that's like, whoa, it is. It's, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> the purchase process is a roller coaster. And you know what? The, the buying it, the starter home is so much fun for people, but really, um, in the situation of these, this family, when they're selling that starter home, you know, where the babies were born, where life started to take place, and they're selling it and they're buying the bigger home, bittersweet. Yeah. So, so it's always fun. To and you got to be ready to move in this market. You do. <laughs> if you see something and it pops up on MLS, we have we have learned the lesson over the mm -hmm. last couple of years yeah, now that like it's cakes. still going so fast. Yeah. People supposed to be paying full price or above asking still? Still, yes. Yep, okay. Out or above. All right, you have a wonderful team. Thank you. You guys have helped on many different <laughs> things when it comes to even my family. And I couldn't, I can't say thank you enough. Thanks. So appreciate it. We'll see you next time, okay, Cal? Right. Oh, call or text 330. It's right there on the sign. 717-2689. We didn't even get it wrong. <laughs>